and welcome to Ham's Pokemon. As you can see, today I have a little bit of a different background. I ventured out and decided to upgrade from my homemade Pokemon mat to um, a store-bought one. I got this from the, this one from the Poke Center. Well, you can see it's Snorlax and his Route 12. Um, depicting it from the game where he used to sleep and get in the way and used to have to get him out of the way. It's it's really cool. It's really nice and soft, and it just it just adds a little bit more class, I feel, to the to the screen and the, the the channel. But today, I'm actually just going to show you my um, some of my favorite cards. And I was going to do my ten favorite cards, but I couldn't narrow it quite down to ten, so I got to eleven. Um, and so the the some of these cards, I mean, these are all retro cards. So these are cards that are um, my favorite from pre-2005 some some really cool collections here so i'll go ahead and start here with the first one so what would be technically number 11 so this is a black star promo mew um the shiny one you can get a non-holo version which i also have but i prefer the the hollow version um just you know back in the day obviously the hollows were the rage but it has a really cool hollow pattern too so that is probably my number 11 favorite, and I'll, I'll count down from 10. So number 10, I have a Dark Alakazam from Team Rocket. It's in pretty cool condition. I just love how like the hollow pattern is just the, the shining ray that's coming down onto him. It's, it, I just always thought it was really cool, and it, it, it was just a really nice card. I preferred it to the, to the regular um, Alakazam. Then a card that I pulled in... Japanese jungle the other day, um, but this is the original jungle pincer. I just, I, I don't know what it is. I just always liked the fact that he was just sort of coming out of the bushes or the grass just to sort of leap and attack. And I just thought it looked really cool with that red and yellowy sort of background with the green and just sort of went to go together really well. Um, I, my next favorite is um, a Machamp. So the eighth favorite the eighth least favorite i suppose eighth favorite is matcham just loved how it was sort of like reaching out to sort of get you with its with its forearms like that i just thought what a cool card and again th these dark cards just have such cool hollow patterns so th that was always a, a great favorite seven another dark pokemon in dark dig trio you're bursting into someone's bedroom there's a bed in the background there um another cool hollow pattern and Doug Trio, you know, from the had its own episode with Doug Diglett in Pokemon, and so we always just had like a little affinity with Doug Trio and Diglett. So I I thought this was just such a cool card. Six, a lot of people's favorite is is Charizard base set Charizard, a really cool card. Um, I picked this up not that long ago actually, as I didn't have one. I had one when I was younger, but goodness knows what I did with it. But this was this cost me about twenty five dollars, and it's in really good condition. Actually, it looks. It might look a little scratchy. But it's actually the, it's the top loader that's scratched, not the actual card. It's in really good condition. So, obviously, like people, you know, an obvious, obvious favorite. So, um, let's see. So that would have been number seven. So it's number six. Let's see. We have a Moltres from Fossil, one of the, the original legendary birds. Um, really, really cool card again. Fossil, the fossil collection just in general was just such a cool collection um and there were so many cool cool cards from it and that you know i i did start in base but fossil and jungle were the two sets that, I, that it really really took off for me so um i you know i'm really sort of i love seeing love the the fossil cards next for me was zapdos another legendary bird and again just sensational artwork there's lightning bolts just flying off him um and the hollow pattern look there is just it's just exquisite <laughs> arguably one of my all-time favorite pokemon is lapras um so this is one of my favorite cards of all time um super hollow there crazy super shiny but it's just i just loved when ash had him in the in the uh later on in the series and i just just those sort of like cool Pokemon, like dragony sort of type Pokemon, I just always thought were really cool. So my third, like number three on the list is Kabutops. Just this card, I, I remember getting it when I was younger and just 
sort of fell in love with it, just loved its like mysterious element to it. The hollow pattern is beautiful with those like light and dark orange swirls and and it's just it's just such a cool Pokemon, such a cool card. And again, another Pokemon that had an episode um an a Pokemon that had an episode in the series. Number two is actually a Pokemon like a Pokemon we've already seen. It's the only Pokemon that's in here twice, I believe. And it's Dark Charizard. Love the Dark Charizard card. I don't... It just felt so cool having this card when you were young. I just can't really explain it. I just like how it sort of like got its back to us and sort of giving us the cold shoulder and just such an awesome card. So happy to own that. And then number one, this probably won't surprise too many people, but it actually, it, I mean, it obviously as it's the, the channel mascot, it has to make an appearance and it is my favorite card of all time. And it is the fossil set Dragonite. And just it's it's the it's the rainbow colours in the background, you know, the green, the yellow, the the violet, you know, the the red. It just it just looks so cool. And he's just such a cool Pokemon. He's so mysterious. And I couldn't, you know, I couldn't really have him as my mascot and then not have him in this list. And so obviously he's number one for me. There are other Pokemon that I like to you know, Snorlax is obviously one. Um I do like Articuno because obviously they're another one of the originals. I like Mewtwo as well, but those are my favorite. My favorite eleven, I suppose, that I've got. Is that eleven? Is it eleven? No, oh, it's twelve, I suppose. So twelve cards, and it just just some real retro cool cards there. But yeah, like I said, number one is Dragonite, and I'd love to know what you guys think of the new background. I'd love to know what you guys what your favorite card is of all time. Um, and yeah, thanks for popping on by and please like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, this has been Ham's Pokemon. Goodbye.